Hello everyone, welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, our players are... Hi, I'm uh, Lance Corporal Higgins, I play a gift fighter. Hi, I'm David Big Mac Shepherd. I play Braxton Miek, who's a human fighter and a collector of knickknacks. <laughs> I play Levalis Arnold, an elf and wild mage. Uh, I play a laughter. Me- oh God, I forgot my last name. <laughs> <laughs> no, Moonglade. Moonglade. Laughter Moonglade. Yes, he's a, he's a specialty priest, uh, multi class. Uh, he's a something, something. Yeah, completely AC intro. And somehow everyone skipped over me. I am. I play Yeldon Charpai in Elden Ranger. And I play Akar, Human Falden. That's what originally threw me off. I was like, hang on, I've missed two people, so I kind of forgot what it's I was saying. It's because Lemma's different through. on the list yeah. now. Yeah, she moved her name down on the list because uh, of reasons. She anyway. flipped it upside down. <laughs> anyway, okay. it is uh, time for more uh, more fun, uh, more attempts for me to uh, kill you all. I mean, um, more adventuring. <laughs> oh, uh... now you admit it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, that's... <laughs> Don't, I, I he, always admit it. He's not trying to kill us. He's trying to he's trying to enslave us and sell us to the highest bidder. No. No, I I, I tried that already, and um, it just wasn't worthwhile. So now I'm trying just trying to kill you. <laughs> well, Lemo would like to have uh, the help of the others in in figuring out the the different parts of of her rope. And whether there's anything that could be useful for what we are trying to do. Right. Well, I mean, you've got the descriptions that I gave you. Yeah, yes, you, I have. You took something off before and it, it didn't go back on, so... No, the, 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 the things are gone. That's why I want ideas from the others. Uh, uh, the stuff that I take off stays off. Mm. So I I have this robe full of patches, as you know, and those patches remind me of certain things, and I'd like to have ideas what they could be. Okay. okay. Do... I don't think any of the other players got the descriptions, though. So... No, I'm, I'm telling you that I, I don't think they're too small blades. I don't think they are, they're going to be useful. They'd be daggers. Unless... Well, they'd probably they... be daggers, yes. Actually, actually, there was something I was going to say to everyone, which is that we should carry around some weapons because if we do manage to get in um, uh, to rescue these dwarves, we should try to arm them so that they can help us fight out, fight our way out. So uh, I, I was thinking if we can pick up any... Um, that's why I, I was looking through the uh, weapons of the guys we just fought. We can pick up any small things like daggers... Uh, we, got, uh, we got some, yeah. We got two off. long swords, two short swords, and six <clears throat> daggers so far. Yeah, I have two small blades on my rope. So if if you could you could can those out to people, but you might want to use them yourself because they might be uh, good blades. Well, we don't know. Uh, I'm pre- well. Am I prepared to say? Yeah, there's nothing that says that uh, they're both the same, but they look the same. So I, if anyone is interested, I might take one out and, and show it to you. I think you should leave until you need them, because if it's, mm-hmm. if it's got special powers for an hour and you take it off, you've lost it. True, true. So I have two large panes there that, that, that look like mirrors. Could, be, could they be mirrors or something? Uh, that sounds logical. And I have two somethings that are long, thin, and rigid. Long, thin, and rigid. Mm-hmm. Are they ladders? I'm sorry. I, I was. Um, Call on someone. Uh, <laughs> go, go ahead, G-Man. Okay, wands maybe. Uh, I if if it's long, thin, and rigid, I. I, do they look like wood or different material? Because basically, correct... the uh, um, the patch is uh, it's long, thin, and the that 
patch makes that part of the cloth a little bit more rigid. It still, it doesn't affect its uh, in terms of movement and any anything like that, but it it's stiffer. Is it a bit like a stick? No. Old. Uh, it's long, thin, and rigid. I mean, it's a patch on a clo- on a robe. God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> my mind I is just. Bad. I don't. I don't think you're going to get all to admit what they are until you actually use them. Okay. Yeah. I have two some things that feels like that feel like coils <laughs> or ropes. So I think those are quite clear. Hmm. I have two some things that are baggy. Bags. Baggy. Uh, maybe. What was, what was this like Wheel of Fortune where we guessed the word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you if you, if if you can think of a use in 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 our plan, then let me know. Like for example, could we use the ropes? I think that everyday mundane items like just could be useful. That the wizard may not necessarily need to carry on him. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's also I mean, like if it's an everyday mundane item, I mean, you're on your ship right now, and the ship has all, all of your. Of them. Uh, you know, all of your stuff and everything like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just realized that uh, I am not seeing your tokens on here. I am not sure why not. Hmm? I see no, the, the tokens. The, the, yeah, down yeah, below, I but the, the your ship and the token that I was using for representing where you guys were disappeared. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you right. uh, did you did the ma- they get put, put underneath <clears> the <throat> I don't think so. I mean, I can't really check without. Or can't can't you go on like the map layer and force it to the bottom? I suppose I could. Uh... There's also a little red X on the map. Oh, that was uh, me. That was uh, when I was pointing out our plans. Right. Plans for ambushing people and. Or drawing them out to ambush them. I might have accidentally highlighted them and deleted them. Go okay. Anyway, um, I'll get them back on. Um, I do have a letter. So one letter, one one clear letter in the rope. The thing though is that um, you know, the everyday mundane items. Uh, mm. it might be the kind of thing where you want to say. I mean. You know, if you're in a situation where Asher is not there, I mean, Asher carries around a lot of stuff for you guys. Who's Asher? Mm-hmm. Uh, Higamus, sorry. Higamus. <laughs> it's because you just cheered. And then, uh, did, yeah. anyway. Um, and so he, ca- I mean, you know, he's got this big backpack full of stuff. Um, if there's a point where he's not around or he loses the backpack or you guys get captured or something like that, you know, I mean, you got tools there that may come in handy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't know whether any of these objects are magical or not, do we? Nope. Is there any way that I could figure it out? Take them off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then she's surrounded with plenty of stuff like boats and st- and and ladders and has no way of getting in front and uh, and all the useful stuff is used up <laughs> right that's yeah that's the uh the downside of the item that's the whole point but uh talking out a character as you're a as you're a wild mage the ability to pull something off your robe and it's not exactly what you thought it was <laughs> would would seem to be appropriate to you. Yes, to a point. Uh, I mean, if I if I take off something that looks like a ladder because we need a ladder, mm-hmm. and it turns into a rope, I'd be rather upset. I think that w- your robe is would come more handy for a situation where we're caught without any of our things. Like if we ever get captured by something or put into jail. They might not take your robe because it's just a piece of clothing. Yeah, it's it's that the perfect thing. it's mm-hmm. the perfect uh for when your pants are you know, when your pants are down kind of situation. But right now when we're fully prepared for <laughs> uh, it's thing, it's got braces on it. <laughs> no, but it has something that could be a door. It has a belt <laughs> for holding your pants up when your pants are down. 
I don't have pens. <laughs> well, the point <laughs> being is that uh, <laughs> I think oh, we've lost the plot. The the point is is that it, it's best for when you're in a bind, when you're in a tight mm -hmm. situation, and it's like you're you know you don't have many options. You know you're at, you're out of uh, uh, tools. Your your tools are missing. That sort of thing. Uh, true, but yeah, okay. I, I know that you're. That looks like a door, you see, and 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 I'm wondering whether this could be used to uh, to use it as a door. The Possibly. only way. I I understand that you're really curious about what all the things do right now, but the only way, truthfully, to understand what all those patches do is to take them off and use them. And unfortunately, when you take them off and use them, it's done. It can't be put back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yep. I mean, it might be, be one of those things where, once again, you save it for a case where, you know, we're caught without all of our stuff. Or if you just happen to want to use it. But to sit here and just speculate the whole time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. see the point. It's not speculating the whole time. It's it's trying to figure out is there something that could be useful for our plan to get into the into the fort. Isn't that well, speculation now? Yeah, that is speculation. <laughs> <laughs> lots of it, lots of it could be useful, but it's it's your job to figure that out, as it's your thing. This is this is when you save the day by going. I use my thing, whatever this thing is, and then you and find out what the what thing I, is. And it wasn't what I thought it or what I supposed it was. <laughs> and if it was, if it isn't what you think it is, there might be an, another way to use it. Like, let's say you tried to pull a rope off, but you got a ladder, and you you was going to throw a rope over the wall. You mm -hmm. use the ladder and you go up the wall. Mm -hmm. Or if you get a rope instead of a ladder. You say, right, let's put a lasso on the end and hook it over something. Especially useful if you get a boat instead of a ladder, or if you get a ladder instead of a boat. Um, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, let, let's go on. In that All right. Case. So, uh, I think that we were going to go visit the other camping site. To yeah. See yeah. What was there. So, the let's I'll do use that. the ruler. Yeah. The plan uh, was to go up, was like beside the mountain. Braxton, we're going up. I, th I, I hate dice. Your, yes, I appreciate your uh, idea about lugging the weapons around, but uh, beyond what we've already kind of picked up, I don't think we should be carrying around a whole bunch. I mean, it's kind of no, awkward no, no. for me to be carrying around what we have right now. No, I'm not thinking a lot of weapons, and I'm not thinking of big weapons. I'm just thinking daggers are small. All right, so I'm carrying around what we got off of those people from yesterday. Is that sufficient for what your idea is? Maybe. Yeah, all right. So we'd, we'd just kill more people and throw the weapons back to the prisoners, if there's more prisoners. All right. Do we know how many prisoners there are? Or we're still waiting on Laftal to do his magic spying thing? Yeah, we yeah, haven't that's that yet. Gonna, that's going to be after we visit him. Because if we... If I call correctly, there is like a clear, kind of clear area between the mountain and the forest. Yeah. From when we flew above. Yeah. So it should be quicker travel through there to get to the, up the lake. All and right. Maybe, and you know what? Uh, as Braxton, I think it was Bra was it Braxton that brought up there might be uh, there might be dwarves out there that who hasn't been captured yet. Yeah. Well. Uh, <clears throat> Let's grab all the things that we need, <laughs> and then let's get going. Thank you. All right, so uh, first of all, spellcasters, you uh, made any necessary changes to your spell slots? I have the same spells, so more or less. Okay, well, I mean, if you're yeah, the same, the same thing, me. that's fine, too. Just, I want to make sure that you guys... No, no, no. Yeah, I remember from last... Okay. Um... You woke up. Uh, you wake up the uh, uh, next morning. Um, get ready. Uh, Laftel does his prayers. Leva studies her spellbook, and um, 
you know, as you leave your ship, um, looks like there's a, a small family of deer just uh, munching some of the grass uh, nearby. Uh, as you disembark from your ship, uh, they startle and uh, dash away. It's just deer. Yep. I was thinking, Yeldon's like, this looks like, like some good deer, but that's not what we got plenty of food. Okay, so um, you go ahead and... Which uh, side of the river? I'm sorry? Which side of the river? Just out here. It's our side, this, isn't it? Yeah, you, you haven't... Well, yeah, we're, 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 quite, we're quite far away from the river when it attacks. You gotta remember we're like yeah. 2.5... 2, like, uh, not quite half a mile. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're just basically going straight across uh, the river and then up to the uh, the mountain kind of thing? Can yeah, I suggest yeah. that we all hold on to a rope if we go across the river? If we use, we just board, used the... You're just using the boat. Oh, what? he was referring to if we got attacked by the... Yeah, if yeah. we go overboard, if, some, if we're all holding on to the rope, then we're not going to go overboard. <laughs> you know, or, we... or you might pull everyone else over. Or if Higamus yeah. goes overboard, everyone let go. <laughs> Well, Higamus is going to sink. We have found this out now. Uh, I point. I, I'm going to say that I'm going to point out. Rather than everybody hold on to a rope, to, we take everybody brings their own rope to tie themselves to the boat. Much more efficient. Is it? Well, what if the oh, rope? Oh yeah, because you're attached to the boat, so the boat itself. So oh, the only time we're going off the boat is if the boat actually capsizes. You'd have to tie it up pretty short, though. So? Or we could just brace ourselves, say we brace. That would require us to know the attacks. Okay, well, I, you know, I already uh, rolled for uh, random encounters uh, for the river, and I didn't get anything, so it's kind of moot at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've already crossed the river at this All point. Right, All right, let's go. Uh, let me know when to stop. I'll, I'm moving the token. Oh, yeah, just... if we're gonna fight a Chimera, they're poisonous, aren't they? Or is it a certain... A what? We're not fighting anything. No, I'm just... Yeah, I was saying if we get encountered by something poisonous, I suggest the person who wants to tank it take their protection scroll. I think Hegemus has that right now. No, I'm just saying if we get into that situation. So, give it to Arkar. So... <laughs> Gonna let go now. Cause I'm the tank. No, I'll, I'll... Mm, it, it's no I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just suggesting a course of action. Nothing more. I'm not saying someone should go this or that way. Okay. Uh, you uh, you make it up to the uh, uh, this other small lake um, pretty easily. Uh, it takes a bit over an hour to uh, make that uh, traverse. Um, there's a pretty ample clear clear area between you know the start of the really rocky uh, mountain. It's fairly steep in a lot of places. Um, not quite cliff like. Uh, I mean, it would it, it seems like it would be fairly easy to climb overall, um, but uh, it's still pretty steep. Uh, and it's just bare rock, uh, and there's a, a ample clear area between the forest and the, the start of those um, that allowed for pretty quick travel. Um, you do at one point see a, uh, a large flying creature um, land on the top of the peak, uh, or you think you do. Uh, but I'll pull up my spyglass to take a closer look at it when I see it. By the time you get Cause... it out, it's already uh, hidden from view. It was it's just very probably great. that wyvern we saw the other day. Try and take to note of the time. It might only come out at certain times during the day. Sure, well, I'll make like hunting time in the morning. I'll make note of the position of the sun, sun when we spot it. It's pretty early morn morning. Um, around uh, you you'd guess seven a.m. ish at this point. Because we don't have, like, sun dials on our wrist. Yeah, it's just like a, an early morning. It goes up to hunt, yeah. so we learn its nature. We need to invest in wrist sun dials. <laughs> <laughs> wrist sun dials. You just put one on your helmet. Not as effective as... 
Okay, um, so you arrive at, uh, at the, the pool and, um, uh, the small lake, and you can pretty clearly see that there is some substantially disturbed, uh, trees on the far side. Um, from this side, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see exactly what's going on, but, uh, there's some definite tree damage over there. Alright, right, let's go check it out. Yeah, we'll go over there, and I'll roll my track. Uh, um, that I, we don't do that. We do if that. He's, we just, if you're just... leading, I'm watching her behind. See if we're being followed or anything like that. Okay. Uh, getting over there, uh, you can now see... Let me actually... Oh, there we go. I rolled it twice by accident. Okay. Uh, are you looking just for general tracks kind of thing? Yeah, I'm looking for tracks, or see if I can use the what what sorts of tracks are in the area to figure out what happened. Okay, uh, so getting over there, you can see now in the trees uh, the damaged remains of a dragonfly. Well, there's our ship that the guys they came in on. Does right. it have a helm? <laughs> Steal the helm. You haven't gone on and checked. Do you want to search it? Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll let. I'll, Say, before people go over there and start trampling everything, I'm going to go and look at the tracks in the immediate area, see if I can figure out what happened. Good. Fine. Okay. Can I, can I get an idea of whether it's safe, uh, space worthy? Um, you'll need to actually like get up close to it, and Yeldon all right. wants to look around <clears throat> first. Um, all right. So Yeldon, with that uh, tracking roll, um, you. Uh, you can clearly see from, you know, coming away from there uh, and going in uh, to the trees behind you, essentially, um, a substantial number of uh, humanoids passed by. Um, you would guess humans and perhaps dwarves, you know, knowing what, uh, um, you know, why you're here and everything like that. It To you, it, it's like... These seem like dwarf tracks to you. Um, okay. Uh, if you weren't familiar with, uh, you know, I mean, if you didn't have that kind of basis already, you might not know exactly what kind of humanoids there were. But it's it's kind of like the. You, know, you can tell by how deep the thing. footprints are because they always wear pretty heavy armor. Well, I mean, not necessarily, but uh, um, there it's difficult to say how many of each but uh there's a substantial number of tracks uh you would guess in excess of 20 individuals um and because of the the mess and you know how many times they've been walked over um and stuff like that you you can't really see you know get a precise uh, number okay. is there any blood in the area uh, I will look for that, and I'll m m figure out which direction they they went. They're mm. obviously not here anymore. Go ahead and roll me another uh, tracking check. Okay, um, there is a bit of blood. Uh, not a you know in the tracks. There is a bit of blood. It's not a substantial amount, like, you don't think that someone is bleeding out kind of thing, but there are definitely injuries. Couldn't uh, we was... get Arkar's wolf to track the scent? You could try, I mean... Uh, Possible. I don't know how well... Yeldon that... might be able to do it too, but um, overall, it's roughly a week old. Oh. Yeah. Okay, a week old. What direction yeah. did they go? Um, basically, uh, pretty much the way you came. Um, but then into the forest. Okay. So they went... Through out that way? So basically... Rather um, than this way? Make sure that I'm on the right thing. There we go. Uh, so they went... Up here, and then over here, and then... Kind of thing. So rather than being on the outside, they went into the forest. Okay, do I think I could follow those tracks for a time? Yeah, you think you could? Okay. I'll let people know, like, yeah, I can follow these tracks after we're done looking over the room wreckage. Go ahead. Alright. Can I take a look at the ship now, Yeldon? 
Oh, yeah, I said go ahead. Okay. Okay, you want to actually get on board? Yeah, see if there's any survivors or any clues as to who owns it. Okay. Um, the uh, it, It's fairly brightly painted, um, but getting up close to it now, you can see that uh, um, basically the, the front of it took the brunt of some damage, and it is smashed in. Once you get on board and start looking around, you see that there is a corpse on the, dis you know, on the destroyed yeah. uh, helm. Uh, and it, it, it looks like it hit trees very hard. Right. So this could be the barrel data. Could be. Uh, is there anything that looks like words? I'll have to get someone else to read it. Um, no, actually, uh, if there are, they are destroyed kind of thing. You, you can't, you don't see any, um, uh, writing on it. Right. Are we all so, in the ship? Or was it just Braxton? I don't know. Uh, you also wants to if be you on want to follow. You're welcome I... to come on. Can I'm I just trying to make see... an assessment, see if it's, uh, if we could was get it off the ground. the person that died? Yeah. Could I... I know it's kind of obvious. One of, could I tell if he's a spellcaster? Not really. Any reagents on him or anything? Um, it looks like he's been uh, any... stripped of, of valuable possessions. He's not wearing any armor. Could Meal never determine whether he... Well, um, could I see if there's any religious markings on him or anything? Are you familiar with Dwarven religious... Do you have the, the Dwarven religion? I don't have the proficiency. I've only read the book once. Would Ogka be familiar with, uh, with those? No, not unless they have a proficiency. I have North religion. It's just... It's like uh, Laftal would have Elven religion. Yeah, right? I do. I mean, it, it, uh, it's it's a... Uh, the corpse of a dwarf in the remains of a chair uh, where... You know, you've been on the so, dragonfly before, and this was where the helm was. So, it's yeah. was. It's not there now. Well, it's well, it's destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, there's the pieces of chair. The helm is no longer functional. It's, well, which means if we wanted to make it, I don't know if it can fly still, but we do have a spare helm. Hmm. Right. Can I make a? Can Braxton make a quick assessment as to whether we'd be able to get the ship off the ground if we put our helm in it? Uh, go ahead and give me a spell, cra uh, spell jamming carpentry, carpentry check. Yeah, you want a GM roll? No, it can be an open roll. Okay. That might be a bit low. Let's have a look. Low is good. You want it low. Oh, low is good, is it? Yeah, if you look at my checks, it's like seven less than seventeen. Uh, my tracking. Yeah, I could get underneath sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, yes. Um. If you put the helm where the helm normally is, it would be very vulnerable to uh, attacks. Um. But the cargo hold is intact. You can put it in there. Um, it it's definitely damaged. You would guess that uh, it's around half hull points right now with this damage. Right. Um, right. But it will still fly if you put a helm on it. Um, yeah. Now, in your inspection, you notice that uh, there is some damage on the legs that appears to be from ropes. Right. Ropes. Hmm. So Leg? there's a tact in midair, then... Wait, ropes? Well, no, if the if the ship was... What do you call it when you try to board another ship? You try and put ropes Grapple. around or... Grappled. Yeah. Then the ropes might have pulled it like really tightly and strained to the footwork, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. Yeah. Or maybe they had some sort of weapon that uh that fires 
fires ropes up to ships that fly overhead. But it would still have an impact, like a, mm. a spearhead or something. Fair. They've got okay. catapults. Could we determine... At, no, at the base. Could we determine if there's any catapult damage? Like, You don't, don't see know. any obvious weapon damage. Oh. Then again, uh, considering that it crashed into trees, some of that could be covered up by the damage from crashing into the trees. Yeah. And the fact that they shot the helmsman <clears throat> means they knew what they were aiming sorry, for. Sorry, um... You can't tell whether the uh, uh, helmsman was killed by a weapon. Can I do a healing fish check to see if he's, how he died? Sure. Might Ooh. be hard. The corpse is a week old. Yeah. I thought... I thought the helm room. Autopsy. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd said the helm room had been broken open from outside. Oh god, that's bare. Actually, uh, yeah, no, that's a no, fail. No. There's it's the court. The body's too old. The there's a, a lot of bludgeoning damage to it. Um, whether that was uh, caused by this crash into the trees, or whether it was caused by weapons, or something else, or. Uh, whether that was the actual cause of death, whether it happened after death, you can't tell. Can I get, like, any identifying marks off him and make note of it so we know who's, like, dead to the best of our ability? Not really. Oh, that was stripped off. Well, of like, him. like, beard clothing, like, I mean, a, yeah, he, he's got yeah, a... Yeah, what he looks like, you know, so we, we come back, we say, this so-and-so's dead, can we describe this corpse? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can get that kind of information. He's got a long brown beard. Um, I mean, you can't see too much, you know, too many of his facial features because this it's gone. ship took a na nosedive into trees. And if it's he was the at the corpses, front of the ship. To be honest, I'm surprised there's still a corpse there considering the planet wrong. <laughs> Uh, laughed all Yeldon the way to... notes that actually notes that how untouched uh, Yeldon noticed that how untouched the corpse is like it's been stripped doesn't out, see, it? it seems very intact in terms of t how long uh, being there for a week yeah no animals have decided to eat it and I'm sure like, there's carrion eaters here it should be stinking that is it how it stinks to high heavens right yeah yeah, I mean, rot has already set in. Um, you would guess that uh, um, uh, it may be that um, there's a predominance of larger carrion eaters on this world, and perhaps fewer smaller ones, and they couldn't easily get up to this. Uh, um, oh, I, how many uh, ma it's like there's maggots or... Like, yeah, actually, there shouldn't old. be maggots, actually. There should be flies at this point. Yeah, it's about a week old. I mean, they're, rot's set in. I mean, it hasn't been eaten by anything large that you can tell. Um, and that's, you know, that's about it. But rot is definitely set in. It's not like the, the body is, is preserved by magic or something similar. And it does smell. Right. Okay. Well, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that they'd have looted the ship. Does it look like it's been yeah. looted? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's like, okay. Well, I got cracks that go to east or west. I'm pretty sure that's east. If I'm, if up is north on this map. How the curiosity. world doesn't exactly have north, south, east, and west. So. You're welcome to use those as directions based on the map orientation. It's fine. Cool. I'll go. Pretty sure. Yeah. Every... Yeah. It's east. To the the tracks go off to the east. I pretty sure I can follow them through the woods that the path they took through the woods. They are a week old, so I don't know if I we'll find them any others, but we might. I'm guessing they might be the the path that the slavers took. Well, I didn't see any. Well, from what I could tell, I didn't see any human track. No, you did. Sorry, I, I oh, okay. specified that there was there was dwarves and humans for sure. Right. Did you see any tracks that went off in any different directions? Uh, I don't think I did. Right. Uh, no, but there was a lot there. Um, 
And once, I mean, you know, you, you found the, those tracks pretty quick. Do you want to do further searching through the area, see if there's anything else? Yeah, I will roll another perfect. I want to ask a question to... Apparently I find it! <laughs> yep. Uh, so, you very quickly, number one, you find a small campsite um, just inside the tree line. Um, it's a little bit south of where the uh, uh, the wreckage happened, so on the south side of the lake, which is why you didn't see okay. it earlier. Um, so we're now down here at this point, then. Yeah, you're. I mean, you're on there. I, I was just moving the uh, uh, the token so you could see the the, the ship was right there. Um, right. The uh, camp looks uh, about a week old again. Um, seems like it was probably used for a couple days uh, or maybe a day, at, at least one night. The, there was definitely a fire in the uh, fire pit. Um, and there's uh, surprisingly not much in the way of, of scattered things, so it doesn't look like people were at this campsite and, and like attacked and there was a surprise kind of thing. Um, you're not exactly sure why. Uh, you also find, uh, rope marks around a number of the damaged trees on the tree line. Does it look like they've tried to <clears throat> haul the, uh, ship out of the trees using these ropes? No. It doesn't look like the ship has moved from where it crashed. Okay. Uh, do I... Do, can I figure out if whoever if the, whoever stayed at this camp went to, off in a different direction than the tracks the other tracks did? Uh, they the there's a lot of tracks going to and fro. Um, mostly about a week old. Uh, a lot of them were going to the shore, and then back to the the clear area. Um, up past it, uh, up around where the uh, the ship actually crashed. Uh, and you do find um, one set of tracks that appears to be a little bit newer than the others. And that is going okay. into the forest. To the south here. Which... This okay. is a small forest. Cool. So that could... I'm going to that... suggest that we might have a, at least one dwarf in the forest in the south area here. Yeah, if there's any survivors, we should try to find them. Alright, is that what we want to do? Well, if we find any survivors, they can tell us. Uh, they can tell us about the dwarves who've been captured. Mm -hmm. All right, it'd sounds be long. very good to be able to recognize everyone. All right, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, is, before, are we done here? Before you do that, um, how much, how how thorough were you planning to search the ship when you were doing that before? No, what I did is that. Well, I know the, you weren't. Sort of, I mean, you were off. I know. Other stuff. I was tracking. That takes yeah. time. What were you doing? <laughs> what were you guys doing in the meantime? <laughs> Bra Braxton, Braxton wanted to go in every room and see, assess the room for damage. So search around I... since we're waiting on Yeldon to get back. I I come with you, Braxton. Hagemus would be looking for any sort of cargo or storage thing. Um, you do find uh some provisions. Um. It looks like the the ship was looted, but um, as far as you can tell, not every, you know, I mean, like it was more of a just shove what you can in uh, packs kind of thing, it looks like, because there are some things left. Nothing, uh, you know, obviously valuable, but there's a few weapons here and there, a mace, a war hammer, a couple axes, um, some crossbows, uh, a bunch of crossbow bolts, uh, things of that nature. They're well made, but nothing, you know, special. Um, mm -hmm. There's a, a few barrels of water, uh, some dry provisions, that sort of thing, in the cargo hold. Are those axes small enough for Braxton to carry to give to the dwarven captives? It's two battle axes and two hand axes, so it's up to you. How I don't know how much is way, but <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hand axes are five, battle axes are seven. Higgins says that he's already carrying enough, so if uh, yeah. you guys want to bring those along, you gotta carry them yourself. 
I'll put you know, Yeldon will point out that there is about there was about twenty more than twenty tracks. Hey, I couldn't tell how me. many were how many the exact number, but there was more than people here. Bra hey, Brax you're breaking Braxton's heart. Bra you Braxton's like Braxton's that. gonna take Braxton's gonna take two of the dwarven hand axes. Okay. And he's not going to be keeping them. He's going to be giving them to the captives. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, in the uh, um, in the helm room, uh, Braxton, you do notice uh, an odd panel uh, in one wall. Right. Uh, Braxton will try to open it. Okay. <laughs> Probably blow up. Take him but, aside. Yeah, it's not very. If you need a crowbar, he has one. Uh, do I have to roll some sort of check to see if I can work out the mechanism? Uh, no, it's actually, uh, once you get close, uh, you realize that it's a, uh, a loose board that, um, is designed to not be, you know, not look like it's loose, but your trained, uh, carpenter's eye, uh, spotted it. Uh, it's pretty uh, right. easy to remove. Uh, and inside that is a small leather uh, case. Uh, it's just uh, buckled. It's a small leather case that, with a buckle on it. Is there any okay. in it? Do you want to look in it? <laughs> yeah, Bra Braxton will have a quick look in it. Okay. Uh, inside, uh, you see a few uh, flasks and vials. Well, they will be left looking at too. Um, so one is a, a steel flask. Uh, you see a, a glass vial that um, the the glass it's an opaque glass. Um, mm -hmm. And does Leva recognize anything? Do you want to like pop them open and look inside there? They slosh around, so there's clearly liquids inside them. No, Braxton's just going to take it. If someone wants to have a proper look through them, they can. Uh, Leva would like to have a look at it with uh, with laughter. Right, there's a total of four uh, flasks and vials in there. Braxton well, hands it over. If we find a survivor, we might find out what they are from him. Yeah, and it might be useful for them. I suggest okay, you we open them up and smell. You said a steel a vial, a glass vial? There's a steel one, there's a, an opaque glass one, and, and there's two others. Another uh, um, uh, transparent glass vial with uh, a brownish liquid in it. Uh, looks kind of like there's particles of something suspended in the liquid. And uh, another steel flask. Do you want to just I'm like, pop them open, look Leva. inside, smell them, that kind of thing? Leva wants to smell them. Okay. Alright, so the uh, first flask has a viscous liquid that smells like whiskey. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know what that is. It's Tell? dwarf... <laughs> it's, will guess. It's dwarf viscous. holy water. It's, it's viscous. It's, uh, um... You know, it has kind of a consistency of molasses or honey. But it smells okay. like whiskey. Uh, the opaque vial has a, um, a thick red liquid. It's not very viscous, but it, it it's kind of like the uh, consistency of gravy. Is yeah. it like a normal heal? Does it look like a normal healing potion? There is no such thing as a normal healing potion. Uh, I thought all healing potions nope. were the same. That No. Mm -mm. Everybody makes the healing person differently. Yep. Yeah, I think all mentioned this once before, yep. at least. Uh, because everybody has their own formula. Yep. Right. Fair. Um, there's a... Uh, the second flask has uh, an opaque golden fluid in it. And then there was the uh, the one with the brownish liquid with uh, what appears to be some sort of particle suspended in it. You didn't say um, what they smelled like. They don't smell. 
they don't have a real smell to them. Yeah, not so the cool. scent. Nope. Hmm, sometimes okay. they do, sometimes they don't. Hmm. Well, we can figure out what those are out when we have more. When we go back, like when we go back to the ship for the night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to hang on to them, or do you want to give them back to me? I give them back to you. All right. I. Nah. I can. Right, so just the, only thing, the only thing I found back here were the the weapons and some water and food stuffs, right? Yeah. Mm. Right. I'm gonna. You guys find anything interesting up there in the cabin? Hiccups wouldn't be up in the cabin. It'd be too small for him. Yeah, there's, there was these four vials. Oh, nice. Lever's taken a sniff at them. They might be along. useful for our captives. All right. Well, bring them along. Hmm. And right. uh, if I... you haven't found anything else, I suggest we get going. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So the ship's repairable, but it's 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 down about half its points, roughly. Um. Yeah. So it would, integrity, I guess, is the word you Yeah, mean. it wouldn't do well in combat. Uh, we we could mount a helm in here, but we'd have to mount it in a different room. There is a uh, light catapult on uh, top that is <clears throat> damaged, but uh, it appears like it would be repairable. Yeah. So when we get out of this, it's going to be down to whether we want to get off this asteroid quickly or whether we want to come back here with the dwarves and repair their ship. But uh, we've not been paid to repair their ship. I uh, would say I would say uh, it would be better for our boss to to get our captives back to Brow as soon as possible. And if they want the ship repaired, they might pay us to come back. <laughs> it wouldn't be that if it can still fly. Wouldn't be wouldn't it be that would not be that difficult to just temporarily melt the helm and fly it out of here with us? We could. But that will delay us, and there's a Wait, ship inbound. We don't know. Helm? Are helms made out of... What is a helm made out of? I always thought it was made out of wood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's... It, it's can uh... it can be anything. Basically, they're just... they're the, Any sort of chair that you can think of. From a stool to an ornate throne made of gold. What's this one made out of? This one was wood. It's also destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> and we have that... We have a spare helm. Why I brought it up, but yeah, if we want to get out of here, it's going to waste it. let's go. F I I think I know what direction the guy went south. Uh, so okay. I'll try to track follow his tracks. They are old, but there are some more recent ones that I spotted. Yeah, let's go looking for your survivor or possible survivor. Uh, we need to we need to make sure that when we find this possible survivor, he doesn't think we're the enemy. Right. So, we got to be careful, but we got to be friendly. Do we have a piece of... No, we didn't. Oh, well. Alright, okay. lead on, Yeldon. So, uh, yeah. you follow the, uh, um, uh, the, the track that uh, is a bit more recent than the camp, uh, and head into the, uh, the forest a little ways. Uh, after following it for about 10-15 uh, um, minutes, um, you lose sight of it uh, on uh, a rocky patch, and you circle around it, and it doesn't look like it has gone off that uh, rocky patch. Um, there are some trees fairly, fairly close by. With branches, it fairly low branches hanging over the uh, the rocky patch. We could call out. I look. I'm looking. I'm thinking. What is that wyvern? Does it look like something may have recently tried to like drop down and grabbed something, flew back up, or? No, you don't see that? any any major disturbance to the uh, the tree branches. It's fairly thick. Um, you're not you're not sure a large flying creature could easily get down into this. Yeldin, okay. if, if you've lost the trail, what do you think to call in out? Mm, I don't think... It, it only would work if he's nearby. Uh, yeah, but 
What have we got to lose? You must yell out, "Hey, uh, is this uh, is the survivor of the wreck anywhere around? Uh, we're here to help." Are but, you kidding but, me? After being attacked by humanoids, he's not gonna. He's not gonna but, answer. Oh. Braxton, Braxton will yell in Dwarven. Is there anyone from the Barrel Data here? We've been sent to look for you. That might work. Um, a gruff voice uh, calls out. You're not sure exactly where um, right now. It, it's, uh, you know, with all the trees and everything like that. Um, the, the voice calls back in Dwarvish. Uh, are you friend or foe? We're friends. Uh, my name's Braxton. I'm with the company of the Broken Sword. We've been sent from Brow to look for you. There's been a threatening note sent to uh, one of the crew members' family. Sent by who? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but there's a ransom note for you lot. Specifically for a son of a re very well, particularly wealthy dwarf. <clears throat> it would appear someone's, someone was hunting Ekith. There you go. Great. Are you Ekith? Uh, suddenly a, uh, um, a disheveled dwarf um, just pops into view uh, in tree branches near you. Uh, Do you need some food, sir? And he uh, says, I'm not Ekith, but I'm his right. friend. Uh, damn. You, you say you're, you're, you're here to rescue him? Yeah, I'll introduce you <laughs> to everyone, and I'll tell everyone who he is. Do you speak common? He uh, smoothly switches over to uh, common and says, aye, I do. Okay, right. That make it easy. Not everyone speaks Dwarven. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're here. But we're not here, because somebody's up to no good. Somebody seems to have tracked you. I don't know. I'm hoping to hear the story from you. And uh, they're trying to bankrupt uh, Ekis' family by uh, seizing money from them. <clears throat> so we've come here to rescue you. Um, we've, we've, uh, we think we know where they are, and uh, we just found your ship. It looks like your helmsman's dead. Uh, I've done a look. I've had a look over your ship. It's damaged. It's repairable, but it might be easier for us to get away on our ship. Well, I can um, fly it anyway. He he says as he uh, climbs down out of the tree and comes over. He uh, definitely looks uh, worse for wear. Um, as he does, he uh, he says, yeah, uh, "It's been a while since I've had a good meal. You got any any food? At, at least some dried meat or anything?" Uh, oh yeah, we were, I we would share some. some of yeah, we would have brought some rations for my ship. Right? I'm gonna offer him one of my rations. All right, he uh, he takes it and uh, um, eagerly uh, starts eating. In between uh, bites, he says, "So you're here to rescue Eketh, huh? I assume uh, yeah. everyone else and everyone else as well, if we can. Yeah, uh, including trying... including people that aren't with your party. If they've got other people there, it seems like it's a slaver camp." That's what it seemed like to me. I was doing a scout about when when the rest were attacked. Uh, I saw what happened, but I couldn't really help. And, uh, you know, what, what can one dwarf do against uh, that many? Well, at least two dozen, as far as I could tell. Well, you can help now, sir, because uh, we'd like to know uh, what you know about them. We've already taken out two of their search parties. Uh, at that, his so eyes we... kind of go, go wide. Ah! I've seen them around. I've been able to stay hidden when they come by. Uh, yeah. They come by the, the, the lake here about, oh, every two, three days or so. Right. Well, it's possible right. there'll be more search parties, but it's also possible that their ship's going to come back sometime soon. So we can't delay too much. We think we know where they're being held in the in their complex. How many were in your party that might have been captured? Uh, he uh, turns to you, Higamus, and says, uh, there, were, there were 14, um, plus myself. Uh, I don't know 
you know, if any of them have survived. I, I've I've been staying here, hoping that another ship would come by looking. Um, I didn't know where are they, they went. Uh, are they skilled fighters? Would they be any use if we gave them weapons once we freed them? Uh, the dwarves, of course. Uh, but, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I couldn't... I don't know how... I mean, most of them are... Uh, shall we say more city dwellers? Um, even myself, I I'm not terribly used to this this sort of thing. Uh, I'm just better at hiding when troubles about than than the rest. Well, we have a ship uh, fairly, fairly nearby. We could take you back to our ship if you need a bit of healing. No, nah, it's scrapes and bruises right now, but uh, this, this food has done wonders for me. Let me tell you. We're currently trying to plan how best we're going to get into the fort to save them. Uh, Bra first... Bra Braxton takes out um, Braxton takes out the uh, hand axes he took from the ship. Uh, I took these from his ship in case you needed them. Do you have a weapon? He uh, um, pulls a hand axe from uh, the back of his belt and a dagger uh, in real, f uh, real quick, just like lightning fast reflexes, and you're just holding them out. No, I'm good. Okay, I'll, I'll save these for some of your buddies. Do you happen to know what uh, what these liquids are? What uh, type of uh, um, potions they are? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want these? They're from your ship. Braxton hands them over. That's not my ship. Uh, I was just crew, so to speak. Right. I, I mean, but I, do you know, I, do you know I, what these are? No, I don't. Uh, never seen them before in my life. Okay, I'll put them away. Hopefully, one of your buddies will be able to use them when we when we break them out. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'll look. Uh, is that? Uh, I'll ask. Um, Del Delian, the bright person with Thelaron? us. Thelaron. Thelaron, are you here? Uh, you call out to the uh, the sprite, but uh, he does not respond. Okay, he's not here. Right? Fair. Oh, I didn't catch your name, sir. My name's Braxton. He holds out uh, a hand uh, and shakes yours. Uh, I'm Keller. Uh, how oh. did your sh uh, I'll to ask, how did your ship crash? Well, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I wasn't there when when they tried to take it off. Uh, take off. Um, came back when I heard the uh, the sound of the crash, uh, but there were ropes around the legs of the dragonfly and around the trees. Uh, yeah, only guess that was is that really they odd. managed to sneak in and tie, tie some down. ropes down so that they couldn't take off. Right, and then they jumped everyone when they tried. Is there any other information you might be able to give us that could help us uh, free or? Obviously, they didn't want to attack, yeah, take on additional a information you can give us. Well, um, what I saw of the uh, slavers, uh, as I assume what they are, um, as mostly humans, some half orcs and half ogres. It looked like. Did you see a half elf? I don't believe so. Okay. I think we. I think the half orc is the one I killed. <laughs> No, we didn't. We killed. We killed a half elf there with one of those scouting parties. No, the the guy I tried to disarm, and I accidentally cut his arm off. Well, I didn't get too. I didn't get close looks at the scouting parties that came later. I avoided them, so I didn't get close looks no. at them. It may have been a half orc, a half ogre, or even a half elf amongst them, and I didn't see it. Fair. Mm. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, well. I'm glad we've rescued the first of you. Let's uh, let's go see if we can rescue the other 15. Um, gentlemen, did you want to look at that other site? Um... Oh, now, what was our... Uh, or do you want to follow the tracks where where the people were taken? Oh, if that if they if that was I mean that's uh, probably all. Those are the drawers taken by the group that attacked. So that probably leads back to the camp. Yeah, well, probably. Uh, I wish Thalawan was here because you know, there was nothing 
Yeah, we're around. All right, so let's go along with uh, what our plan was before to go to the uh, staging point so that uh, we can check out both uh, Lord of the Lake and uh, Laffel can do his uh, uh, reconnaissance. Yeah, okay. That's where I was looking for it. Okay, yep. so this is where I, I climb into the river and look for look for uh, an entrance to the well. Yeah, it's something like that. We'll see. That we'll and... see what we figure out. That and see if you can figure out what this Lord of the Lake is. And yeah, if it can be used. I make you invisible, don't I? Yeah. 